Hi, Pep Stars. Especially the grade six students who are finished with their PEP examinations for 2024. So this video is a review. So I have all the papers. You know, I got all the papers, right? So I'm going to be doing a review of all the 2024 CBT papers. I'm starting off with science and let's get right into the paper. So as per usual, we know that the CBT papers consist of 40 items and we are only selecting one card. Let's look at the first question. Which activity is harmful to the environment? And that's slash and burn. We've been warned against slash and burn for many different reasons. It says the images below were taken from a poster. Carefully examine the images and use them to answer item two. Which could likely be a title for the poster, ways to conserve the environment, recycle waste paper, use our hands or to plant a tree. So it says you should use both sides of the paper, fix dripping pipes, and plant a tree. So it's not all of these, B, C, and D, because these are individual things. But everything here summarizes to conserving the environment. Number three, which is a factor that can cause climate change? Build up of large amounts of dust particles in the air over time, building large concrete structures in cities, dumping large amounts of chemical in rivers, releasing large amounts of carbon dioxide into the air over time. And the correct answer is we've talked about carbon emission and how that affects the environment in particularly climate change. Um, this is a repeated question. We saw this in one of the past papers. I'm not sure if it's 2023, but this was a repeated question. The diagram below shows a large mass of land. How a large mass of land has changed over 20 years. Use the diagram to answer item four. And we did this already. It's changes in global temperature, even without reading it, because it's a repeated question. So which is likely the cause of the change that occurred? Um, it's the global temperature, changes in global temperature. What is happening is the ice is melting, and that's why we're seeing more land over the 20-year period. The diagram below shows an incorrect order of the organs in the digestive system. Study it to carefully see how you can answer item five. Then use it to study it carefully, then use it to answer item five. Mouth, stomach, esophagus, small intestine, large intestine. I'm already seeing what's happening because it, it doesn't leave from the mouth to the stomach. It's actually the mouth to the esophagus, then the stomach. So which two organs should switch places to the correct, to show the correct order, and that's the stomach and esophagus. Let's use the diagram below to answer item six. This is also a repeated question. And the answer is lungs. The organ labeled X is the lung. Which property 
which is a property of some. It travels in one direction from its source. It travels faster in air than in solid. It travels in all directions from its source. Its pitch is affected by the color of the vibrating medium. So the current property of sound here is that it travels in all directions from its source. Read the statement below then use it to answer item eight. When the machine is turned on, it makes a loud and high pitch sound. Which word best describes the sound the machine makes when it's turned on? Rhythmic, unpleasant, unusual, or muffled. Okay, the answer that um, I've selected is unpleasant. If it's loud and high pitch, I can't see how that can be. Rhythmic, it's not unusual because we've heard it things with that sound before and muffled it wouldn't be loud or high pitched so the correct answer is be unpleasant which is an example of a non-luminous object so non-luminous non means that it doesn't create its own light say um, a lit candle is luminous Um, the cell phone screen creates its own light. Um, and a car headlight creates its own light. With a bicycle reflector, if there's no light shining on it, it doesn't emit its own light. So therefore, it's not a source of light. And um, as the word select um suggests, sorry, reflector, it's reflecting other light sources. So the answer is C. The diagram below shows what happens to a light ray as it makes contact with an object. Use the diagram to answer item 10. Which is true about the object? It is shiny, it is opaque, it's translucent, or it's transparent. So what do we see taking place here? We see the light ray going in this direction. I'm not seeing where it's going out in another direction. I'm, I'm not also seeing where it's reflecting. So it's not shiny. If it's transparent, it will go through. For translucent, some form of light will be passing through it. Um, through it. So I think the, the object is opaque because no light can pass through an opaque object. So the correct answer is B. Examine the diagram below, then use it to answer item 11. Light rays striking the reflective surface and light rays bouncing off the reflective, the reflective surface. Which is likely, which is the likely characteristic of the reflective surface? The reflective surface is uneven, curved, rough, or smooth. So the correct answer is smooth. Reflective surfaces are usually smooth, such as glass, right? It's usually smooth. which is true about all types of materials. They can exist in either solid, liquid, or gas. They are transparent or translucent. They take the shape of any container that they're in. They melt uh, when they are heated. Uh, they can exist in 
three states. So that's the correct answer. Which is a characteristic of an irreversible change? A characteristic character characteristic of an irreversible change, the substance undergoes a change in state, the mass of the substance increases, the substance changes color, the substance cannot return to its original form. That's the character. The change cannot be reversed. Read the observation below, then use it to answer item 14. When warm air was blown onto the surface of the mirror, water droplets were formed. This is a form of which process is being observed? It's condensation. The label below is from a common household product. Examine the label, then use it to answer item 15. Danger, inhaling spray may be harmful. Extremely flammable container may explode if heated. What advice would you offer to the person using this product? Avoid storing the product in cold areas. Avoid using the product near windows. Do not store product in hot areas. Do not use product near water. Is the correct answer. Because it's, it's heated. Which pair of words is needed to correctly complete the sentence below. Matter will change from a from liquid to a dash through the process called dash. So the pair of words that is needed to correctly complete the sentence below. Let's look at them. Solid freezing matter will change from a liquid to a solid through the process of freezing. That looks like the answer. Let's look. Matter will change from a liquid to a solid by melting. That's not correct. The correct answer is it. The others are not. Read the statement below, then use it to answer item 17. A student wanted to clean up a spill without getting any liquid on his hand. Which should be a property of the glove that the student wears? It should be water. The diagram below shows or show four rod of equal length made from different materials. Each rod was heated at one end using a lit candle. The time taken for the other end of the rod X to get top was noted. Use the information to answer item 18. So you see the metal rod here, there's a glass rod, there's a wooden rod, and also a concrete rod. And the 
tanto lo que le pasa a la polémica de Cristo. Exacto. There you have it, Pep Stars. That's the first half of the 2024 science curriculum based test. It wasn't that bad. I saw at least three repeated questions. And then for everything else, it wasn't that bad. There was a few, there were a few questions that we really had to think about. But other than that, I think it was okay. Manage it, right? So I'll see you in the next video for questions 21 to 40, all right? Please do not forget to check out that video and share with your other classmates and other persons you know that took the PEP examination so they can also get an idea of what they have done in their examination. I'm going to allow the commenting on this video because I just really want to get your feedback, all right? So I'll see you in the next video.